Hey everybody, welcome to another spontaneous toy review here at Toy Wizards. That's toy-wizards.com. I'm your host, Scott Zillner, and today we're going to bring you Cable. I This is the only figure from the Deadpool 2 movie that I wanted was Cable. I really liked uh, Josh Brolin in this role. I liked the original character, uh in the comic books. Thought this was a great interpretation of them. And the toy looked great. This came out from uh, Walmart's Walmart yeah, Con. Yeah, That's yeah, when no one, yeah. we didn't have Comic Con this year. So everything came out at each individual own company's comic cons. This was the Walmart Con and it took forever to get to me, but I finally got one. I ordered two, I got one. That's Walmart, you know, that's how it goes. Surprisingly, it wasn't damaged in the package. And what I've noticed is if it's a square box, it goes into a box, it doesn't get so damaged compared to anything that's carded. You're just going to get destruction from Walmart. Uh, like I've been showing in all my videos, open these things from the bottom. It's one slice. And then you put the uh, hobby knife or butter knife in there and you just pull the tab up. That means you don't break the box. You don't dent the box as you open the stuff up. I'm a box guy. I really like having boxes for my stuff. You know, that's how I've been. We'll go ahead and slide him out. Uh, like all these Deadpool Deadpool uh, boxes, you know, I had the X cast out and, you know, Deadpool wrote on it, that kind of stuff. Um, figure in the box, he does have a bit of a uh, poncho, so you're going to have to pull him up and out. However, I do not see twist ties. And wow, that makes me feel nice. Like, that's almost giddy with that not being in there. All right, Cable, don't worry. We'll free you from this stasis. Come on, buddy. We can get you out. All right. Oh, yeah. Look at that damage. Push that back in. Poncho comes right off. Easy. Shows some of his uh, techno-organic uh, damage there. That is a virus in the future, and it is slowly eating away at all of his biological components. Uh, the little bear is on his side, and he's in uh, a little bit thicker than your normal Marvel Legends body, which is kind of neat. His legs, arms, and whatnot are just a little bit beefier. So that's pretty neat. Face sculpt on it is amazing. This is what they're doing with the laser uh, scan technology. There's a bit of a, a, a real noticeable gap around his neck. Um, however, once you put on that poncho, that's pretty much gone. So you don't have to worry about it then. Good double jointed knees. He's got nice army boots on. This figure's nice. This figure's really nice. I like it. Let's see if the weapons fit in his hand. First off, he's got his laser gun, multi-purpose machine gun. It does come with an additional, I like this, grenade launcher that you can clip on here somehow. And, uh, oh wow, that works great. That's phenomenal. That's a gun any of your G.I. Joes would kill for, honestly. All right, come on, buddy. Can you get that in your hand? Oh no, it's got one of those barrels where you gotta like, oh wait, look at that, it worked. I've had so much bad luck fitting uh, guns in the figure's hands that when it does work, I don't know what to do with myself. I just don't know. It's got two more little accessories. It's got uh, a small handgun and a small future handgun and two sets of additional hands, which is great. Honestly, this is a fabulous figure for two collections. If you think about it, this is a great figure for your movie collections. It's a great figure for your Marvel Legends collections. And how I'm gonna use them? I'm gonna use them with my G.I. Joe collection. Yes. Ah, Cable, thank you for presenting me with Excalibur. I have upheld my end of the bargain, the newest of our battle android troopers to help you on your mission. Roger, Roger. I think I got ripped off. Yes, that kind of stuff can be yours if you get these figures. Oh, and then again, you could also, you know, with that haircut, can you take off your hat? There we go. With that haircut, he easily fits in the G.I. Joe, too. Right, Gung Ho? Righty. What? We're going to go fight some guys, but shoot at their feet. And then uh, if you blow them out of the sky, make sure you let their parachutes come out and uh, let them land without shooting them. You guys are crazy. Just shoot him in the head. No, 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 that's not how we do it. 
We let him get away and then yell, yo, Joe, as they run away. No, no, shoot him in the back when they're running away. I don't think you understand G.I. Joe. Yeah, <laughs> neither does Cable. Awesome figure. I really like this figure. This is phenomenal. Oh man, it is really, really nice. It The face sculpt is so tight. Articulation's great. What do you expect from a Marvel Legend figure? You know, you can pose him, move him however you want. Comes with extra hands, extra accessories, a removable poncho. You can put on other figures if you wanted to. Can you fit Gung Ho's cap on? But yeah, it fits on there. So a great figure for your G.I. Joe collection, a great figure for your Marvel Legends collection, a great figure for your X-Men collection or your Deadpool collection. Cable is awesome, except you can only buy them at Walmart. <laughs> yeah, so good luck with that. Um, best of luck to you. I only ever see dominoes there. This is a great figure. I really love the look of it. This is kind of the look that we're hoping we see more with G.I. Joe down the line. And um, he's going right into my G.I. Joe collection. So there you go. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for following us. Check us out on Instagram, on Twitter, on Facebook, YouTube, all that great stuff. And we will keep making you such great content. You know, I'm pretty sure the guy that cut our hair was Stan Lee. Yeah, I thought that too.